Welcome to the Aircraft Structural Integrity Program Overview. All across the Air Force, aircraft are being put to the test. The Aircraft Structural Integrity Program keeps them top-notch. So, what do you guys do here? Alright, listen up. The ASA program was established to ensure the desired level of structural safety, performance, durability, and supportability with the least possible economic burden throughout the aircraft's design service life. That's awesome! When can I get started? Hang on, slow down there, hero. First, you need to learn the ASAP process. Take this MIL standard 1530, the AFI 631001, and the AFI 21-101, and read up. You never know when we'll need you. Hmm, I guess I better start reading. The objectives of the ASIP are to Define the structural integrity requirements associated with meeting operational safety, suitability, and effectiveness requirements. Establish, evaluate, substantiate, and certify the structural integrity of aircraft structures. Acquire, evaluate, and apply usage and maintenance data to ensure the continued structural integrity of operational aircraft. Provide quantitative information for decision on force structure planning, inspection, modification priorities, risk management, expected life cycle costs, and related operational and support issues. Provide a basis to improve structural criteria and methods of design, evaluation, and substantiation for future aircraft systems and modifications. Attention in the building. Data collection required. All right, rookie. We're going on your first ride along. Sweet. Where are we going? We're heading over to the maintenance unit to ensure that the data is sent off in time. Let's go. You must be here about the ASIP data. That's right. This data is due no later than the end of the next duty day. Sorry about that. We're cutting it close, but I'm uploading and sending the data now. Sounds good. Are you sure all the correct data has been sent? Yes, sir. We've sent the loads environment spectra survey data and the individual aircraft tracking data. Great. We'll make sure the engineers receive the data so they can process it. Excuse me. Have you received the data? Goody gumdrops, it just arrived. How exciting. Flight data recorder data and bubble sheets. It's more fun when I receive both forms of data. So, what do you do with all this data? The data is first analyzed to determine how severely the aircraft are being utilized in service. The results are then ultimately used to make maintenance, inspection, and force structure decisions. Oh, I would also like to add that both the Loads Environment Spectra Survey and individual aircraft tracking usage data programs are established for each specific airframe. Oh, I got it. Where does all the data go from here? It goes to the specific airframe's systems program office where they use the data to develop updated inspection requirements, which are released every six months. Oh, goody! It's finished. I'll send it off to the SPO. You fellas take it easy! The SPO just finished publishing the new individual aircraft tracking guidance. For security reasons, they've asked us to hand carry it. Are you ready to take the wheel this time? Ready? I was born ready. Give me the keys. Keep your head on a swivel. There are a lot of people who want to steal this data. 
We're sitting ducks on this bridge. Get into the city before someone sees us. Uh, boss? We got company. Time to go. Step on it. We'll lose them in those buildings. Grits and gravy! They're right on top of us. Not on my watch. Got him. That one had to hurt. Gentlemen, welcome to Plans and Scheduling. Thank you. It wasn't easy, but I am relieved to tell you the inspection guidance has been published. Oh, good. The inspection guidance has been published. I'll coordinate the inspections right away. Looks like all of these inspections will be done out on the flight line. Well, where else would you do them? Well, some inspections are designated to be performed by depot only. Once the inspections are completed, the results can be sent back to the SPO where they can make important decisions about future inspections, repairs, modifications, and fleet retirement decisions. So is this a continual process? Yes, the data is collected and submitted, we confirm the engineers receive the data, then the data is processed and used for decisions about the individual aircraft in the fleet. Let's get back to headquarters. You did good out there, rookie. You have earned your suit. Finally, I'm part of the team. Welcome to the team.